This is Bob Davis 321, back with my latest robotics project. I took the dog, I painted the moving parts on his mouth black, well actually dark gray, and I added a long tail to him. Uh, the weight of the tail messed up everything, so I basically had to redo everything. Uh, basically he can't lift his, his back legs, so what I have to do is kind of drag the back legs and dig in the heels extra deep on the front legs. That's back. I improved the right and left better than they were before. And of course, it proved me wrong. I didn't move very far. Uh, trying to find the keys and. And there's the left. Maybe another couple lefts. Because I want to show you the tail. This is the tail command. We'll do that three or four times in a row. I almost got my computer screen. Basically, it swings them all around. And, oh, we still have the sit command. The sit command, that gets really tricky because he just about loses it. I'll try it again and back up further. He, he probably would fall over other than his tail hits the ground. Well, watch it again. His tail hits the ground and saves him from falling over backwards from the weight of his tail. So anyways, there's my latest creation. It's basically a robotic dinosaur made from using the dog and adding a long tail. Also, I tried out one of the new high-tech servos. That won't focus uh, in the tail because it doesn't need a, a load problem. What else is new? Oh, I also put an angle bracket holding on his head before I had some other thing in there cobbled. That's uh, the same as the standard L-shaped bracket, but made out of aluminum. And anyways, there you have it, my dinosaur robot. And uh, next, uh, hopefully, we'll be working on making a giant spider.